Hi guys, my name's Letitia. I've made a lot of social media fails over the years, so here's my guide on how not to make social media fails. The most embarrassing mistake I've made on social media was probably when I first realised you could edit your photos and I remember I was in Miami at the time and I made myself have like some tiny waist, some big bum and I completely, I thought, I thought it looked good, I uploaded it and everyone was like why is the door so warped, you look like you're coming from another dimension, like, the, it, like there was a straight line in the door when I began editing but after it the door like bent with my bum so that was proper embarrassing. When I first had social media I didn't really take it seriously and I didn't make much money from it whereas if, if I had the same mindset as I have now as I had then, then God, I would, probably would be a millionaire by now. It's kind of hard to be honest and you've just literally got to let it go in your, one year and out the other, otherwise you're just going to keep on carrying them burdens with you. But just learn to try and not like to take it to heart. I read every single one of my comments on my posts and I try to reply to as many people as possible because I just find it amazing to be fair, like how I can just upload a picture and people that don't even know me just are nice enough to like leave a comment. I find that so nice. When I first started using social media, like I didn't care about like the background of my photos or anything like that and I would upload photos where my room is a complete mess and everyone used to be like, oh my god, you're a scruff, like, go and clean your bedroom before you take selfies. Yeah, I get a lot of people like, you're a mum now, cover up, oh my god, what's your daughter going to think when she's older? And I just think, my daughter's not going to be like you small-minded people. She's going to look at them pictures when she's older and be like, oh my god, my mum was stunning. Do you know what I mean? Not, oh my god, my mum's trash. I have toned down my image a lot since I've had her, but... I still can be sexy. Mums can be can, can be sexy. I've deleted probably like 50% of my pictures off social media. Like I've literally, I have a clear out probably like every other month. And every probably every other month I delete stuff and think and look back and think, what was I wearing? Or, you know, that's a bit too, you know, promiscuous. So yeah, I, I always delete my photos. <laughs> I think I follow around like 450 people on social media. I feel like when you follow too much, it just it just gets too much. And if you follow too less, then you look kind of bougie. So 450 people I follow. I, I don't use social media to date or anything, but like say if I've been single and a guy's like, you know, what, what's, your, what's your number? I'd be like, oh, you can have my Instagram. And I hand, hand over my Instagram and they, put, they probably get gas from it. I do get a few DMs, you know, from quite famous people, ordinary people, a lot of footballers, um, but I'm not really interested. My most popular Instagram posts are family posts, like ones, photos that me, Ben and Winter have done together, or, or a photo of just me and Winter. Like, people love to see families was um, one of Winter actually when she first when she first came and it was the first photo I took of her I uploaded it and I remember I had like so many likes and so many comments. The advice I make to people that make social media fails like you know like I did with the editing or writing the wrong thing just delete it and forget about it and start afresh. <laughs> <laughs>